This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back. An annual festival is coming to the uh, coming to Kirksville. The Red Barn Festival will be taking place this weekend. And to learn more about the event, we have Julie Mikolajczyk here this morning. How are you doing today? Good morning. I'm fine. How are so you? So this, I'm doing great. So this is exciting news because it's an annual event. It's been around for a while. In fact, tell us how long it's been coming to Kirksville. This is our 41st annual festival. Wow. Yeah. All right. And for those, I know that people from all over the heartland come to this uh, this Red Barns Festival. So tell us what can we expect when we attend? Well, the, the festival is this Saturday, mm -hmm. downtown Kirksville. Uh, we have 107 uh, artists and craftsmen mm -hmm. uh, booths mm -hmm. available. We also have entertainment. We mm -hmm. have dancing and music and uh, we have Maple Reps Pretoria Theater coming mm -hmm. and doing a little bit. We have a kids corner for children at for activities for children, mm -hmm. and um, we have lots of food vendors, so mm -hmm. there's pretty much something for everybody. <laughs> yeah, so kind of explain the experience and the ambience of the whole entire event. So these uh, these uh, exhibitors set up their booths, and then people just walk around freely. How does that work? Absolutely, it is just a, a come as you are. Okay, choose what you'd like mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. Kind of atmosphere. It's. Um, we are hoping for beautiful weather, which it sounds like we're going to have. So it's a wonderful day to just spend out, spend out outside. Okay. Now, uh, can you kind of just maybe not go into detail, but touch base on some of the exhibitors we might see? What types of exhibitors we might um, see? We have some of uh, our exhibitors often come back mm -hmm. for many years. Okay. So we have uh, paintings and photographs. We also have uh, wood, wood crafts mm -hmm. and baskets. Mm -hmm. We, um, and then our crafters are anything that you're, you can even imagine. Mm -hmm. There's, there's so much. Mm -hmm. A lot of things are geared toward the holiday, mm -hmm. so it's a great time to start thinking about holiday shopping. Yeah, and uh, you had mentioned that there will be a live performance happening throughout the day. Yes, we start with dancers in the morning, and then we have maple rep, and then we have music in the afternoon. That's so Fantastic. Yeah. So there's just a little bit of everything for everyone out there. I know that I have been going the last four years that I have been here, mm -hmm. so this will be my fifth one, and I'm excited because, like you just said, there is something for everyone there. Absolutely, there And th these exhibitors aren't just from, y you know, the surrounding areas. Areas. They come from all over. No, we have uh, f five or six states represented, and one wow. comes as far from as far as Montana. Okay. So, yeah. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, the location. It's going to be in the downtown Kirksville Square area. So is that Correct. whole entire area going to be blocked off? Yes, it is. Okay. It is. And, right. and um, we've actually even spilled into Franklin Street. Wow. So we will <clears throat> begin right in front of the Arts Center, but the main square is mm -hmm. where the largest number of exhibitors are. All right, and now does it cost anything for people to attend? No, absolutely not. There is no admission fee. There is a, a small charge for kids' corner activities, mm -hmm. but other than that, it's just wander around at your leisure. All right, perfect. Now, what's the purpose of bringing something like this to the um, heartland? Well, the Ar Kirksville Arts Association mm -hmm. puts this on. It is a fundraiser for them, but it also brings the community in to be aware of the artists and craftsmen that are in the area mm -hmm. and just to celebrate that creativity. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to add? I think I just hope we see everybody downtown on okay, Saturday. Perfect. Now you said you are hoping for uh, some fantastic weather and it looks like we'll be in the 70s. I think so that's going to be really nice for everybody out there. Yes. What we'll do is we'll post everything on our website at ktvo.com. We'll link up information as well if, if people just need times and everything. But it's sure. from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. 4.30. Oh, 4.30. 4.30. Okay, yes. but there will be an awards ceremony it's taking place. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. Well, again, thank you so much, Julie, for mm -hmm. coming on. Thank and you. And we'll post everything on our website at ktvo.com, and we'll be right back.